talked in our previous videos about greenhouse gases, we talked a little about their sources. In this video, we'll focus on the most relevant activities that produce greenhouse gases and their relative weight. As we mentioned before, the main greenhouse gas is the carbon dioxide, or CO2, currently responsible for almost 80% of the total emissions. In second place comes the methane, or CH4, responsible for approximately 15% of the global emissions. Electricity production and heating generation are the greatest responsible for the emission of greenhouse gases, with around one-third of the emissions. Following comes transportation due to the fossil fuels combustion, with 15% of the global greenhouse gases emission. Next, with a little more than 10% each, come the manufacture construction sector and the agriculture sector. Therefore, these four sectors of activities together answer for more than half of the global emissions. There are three ways of reducing emissions. The first is diminishing the total production and consumption of the outputs of those uh, recently mentioned sectors. These sectors generate products that we all use and, with the global population growth and their wider access to infrastructure, the tendency is that this production and consumption will continue to grow. The second way is transforming the sectors, increasing their efficiency and changing their production processes in order that they do not produce greenhouse gases anymore or begin to emit them in lesser quantities. One example is the electricity generation. Instead of burning coal in a thermoelectrical plant, generating electricity through solar panels and wind turbines. Instead of using fossil fuels like gasoline and diesel in automotive vehicles, using electrical biofuel cars. A third way in, is reducing the per capita consumption, that is, compensating the consumption increase due to the population increase and their greater access to consumer products with the diminishing of individual consumption. This can be done through several small individual actions on a daily basis. For example, choosing public transportation instead of a car, or better still, walking or biking instead of using other means of transportation saving electricity, avoiding food waste, recycling, etc. In our next video, we'll talk about uncertainties linked to climate change. Until then, 